at Better Than Betty White, an American actress, cookbook author, comedian, and all-around icon. From The Betty White Show to The Golden Girls to Toy Story 4, the late 99-year-old legend has amassed a slew of Emmy wins, as well as three marriages. As if her success wasn't enough, White amassed a fortune of $75 million throughout her career in Hollywood. Let's take a look at how Betty White spent her millions before she passed away. Number 5. Betty White a trailblazer and pioneer in media, Betty had the longest running career for any woman in TV before her death. Starring in multiple shows over the past eight decades, starting way back in 1939, Betty was perhaps most famous for her lead role as Rose Nyland in The Golden Girls, which ran from 1985 to 1992. She'd been in tons of other big hits throughout her life, like The Proposal with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. Betty got her start in radio in the 40s, making appearances on Blondie, The Great Gildersleeve, and this is your FBI. She eventually got her radio program. In 1949, she began working on a TV variety show with Al Jarvis called Hollywood on Television, which she later co-hosted before breaking out into more TV roles. Her breakout comedic role came in 1973 when she played Sue Ann Nivens on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, which ran until 1977. She got her starring role in The Betty White Show. Betty won five Primetime Emmy Awards, including two for Mary Tyler Moore, one for Golden Girls, and one for her 1975 SNL appearance, along with the Screen Actors Guild Awards, American Comedy Awards, and even a 2012 Grammy. She's been nominated for several Golden Globes and has also been honored with many Lifetime Achievement Awards and celebrations through several organizations. Betty White was a lively person, and it showed how she spent her money too before she passed away. Not a few days before the announcement of her passing, Betty had just made headlines when she told people, I've heard Ryan Reynolds can't get over his thing for me. They co-starred in the 2009 movie The Proposal, as mentioned before. Ryan jokingly responded on Twitter, I'm absolutely sick of the media exploiting past relationships just to drive clicks. Ryan's admiration for Betty White was so much that it is rumored his third daughter Betty is named after her. Number 4. Last Days White, who passed away on 11 January, lived in a five-bedroom, six-bathroom Brentwood home in West Los Angeles. But if the trailblazing actress had it her way, she would have remained at her longtime marital home in Carmel, which she first built with her late husband, Alan Ludden, when they bought land in 1978. She never wanted to leave her home in Carmel, but was forced to for at-home care, a source told The Post. Los Angeles was more accessible. If she had it her way, Betty would have lived and died in that home in Carmel. It's the home she shared with her husband. It's where she felt more comfortable. Ludden, her third and final husband, passed away from stomach cancer back in 1981. Number 3. Vodka and Hot Dogs While White had the budget to be dining on champagne and oysters, she made it clear that her tastes are actually quite simple. In a 2020 interview with Closer Weekly, the actress opened up about her daily life and health in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the interview, White loved nothing more than classic American snack foods. When she's at home, the Golden Girl alum likes to enjoy her favorite snack, hot dogs and french fries, and sip on a vodka martini in her living room. If Betty were not purchasing pricey bites, the rest of her meals would be less expensive. The actress went so far as to reveal to the outlet that she enjoys canned foods. Sometimes she even goes to the kitchen to whip up a grilled cheese sandwich, and Betty will accompany that with a nice can of tomato soup, the outlet published. Number 2. California Dreaming If Betty's diet weren't burning through her bank account of millions, her house would definitely be doing the trick. In her kinetic content TV special titled Betty's Happy Hour, White gave fans a tour of her California mansion, and the results were spectacular. In a one-minute video posted to Kinetic Content TV's official YouTube channel in August 2017, the actress parodies the MTV show Cribs and shows off her home to viewers. I'm Betty White. Welcome to my crib, says the actress, smiling. While the actress clearly intended to be comical, she shows off some beautiful parts of her house. Her kitchen is gorgeous, with a fridge that blends seamlessly into the cabinetry and granite countertops. White also boasts two large stainless steel ovens stacked one above the other. Number 1. Splashing Around The kitchen in White's California house isn't the only attraction. In another segment from Betty's Happy Hour, fittingly named Betty White Has No Shortage of Pool Boys, the actress also had a magnificent outside deck and pool area, which she also featured in. Her deck complements the deep blue water of her huge pool, as shown in the video. A hot tub and a warm waterfall are located next to the pool. While White was notoriously open with the public about her intimate relationships and other romantic interests, the Golden Girl kept her spending habits to herself, leaving fans to wonder how exactly the celebrity chose to spend her fortune. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye!